welcome to my week of making it work and this is a brand new week it is um, I'm going to talk to you first before I get started with my makeup for the week and I have switched um, it's not exactly switching jobs because it's owned by the same person but I am moving to um, remember I worked at Big Dummies Monday through Friday bartending and cooking then I worked on Saturdays um, at the Longhorn bartending and I will stay at the Longhorn on Saturdays but I am moving to the um, it's called One-Eyed Jack's Casino on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and Sunday so I'll only be working four days a week now Today is Tuesday, and I'm going to be working. It is now not like 9, 9, 10. And I'm going to be at work at 10, and I'm going to work until 10 tonight. So today is a long day. I'm taking my computer to work with me. So maybe I'll, I'm even taking my coloring stuff to work with me. Hopefully I'll, you know, maybe get some stuff done today. I don't know how busy they are. I don't know. It is a bar also. So... I've never, I've only been in there once and that was years ago. So uh, this is a kind of a new business for my boss. He owns four different businesses and three are bars and this one is a bar casino. So that's where I'm moving. I'm going to work um, 12 hours today. I'll work 6 tomorrow. I'll work 10 to, 10 to 4 tomorrow. Then I've got to go after work tomorrow. I've got to go get my finger fixed I broke one of my nails so they've got to fix that um, Thursday and Friday I'll be off so I will be trying my hardest to get my giveaway up on either Thursday or Friday v filmed not probably not up I'm not real sure yet when I'm gonna put it up um, just so you know there will be two winners on my giveaway uh, first and second prize um, it is not going to be international though unfortunately because I just can't afford to send it internationally right now so anyway um, that is my story for you today I'm just go I'm going to four days a week so this video will be quite a bit shorter I'm still gonna do my giveaways every single week um, my my um, videos will still go up on Mondays uh, nothing like that will change but I'm going to change when I work. Oh, I, I was going to tell you I work Sundays 4 to 10, which kind of, uh, I wish I could switch, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So I will get right into my makeup this week. This week I am using um, Make Me Brow by Essence. Um, I can tell the difference between the last two weeks. Now, last week I used An Anastasia. This week is Essence. Boy, is there a difference. Um, the Anastasia brush feels luxurious and soft and smooth going on and it goes on like a dream. This here you have to work a little bit to get it on the, the um, spoolie is very small which is fine with me. I like the smaller spoolies but um, the spoolie is um, got really stiff tips on them so they almost you know scrape across your skin or or that you know I do like the color the color is fine um, you know I still like this it's just I'm just comparing it's like comparing luxury to, to very low end so but I still like this and I still would repurchase it if I had to so all right for Ulta Eye Primer. I don't think this is ever going to end. <laughs> I've been using this for a long time already, right? But it, you can tell it's getting lower. Um, for my highlighter. Just grabbing what I've got here. I am using, this week I decided I was going to use my Physician's Formula Translu Translucent Pearl. And this is 7 times Powder Palette Mineral Gold glow pearls sorry I can't talk today and this is what it looks like 
Um, the only thing with, with some of their things, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it it almost gets like a flat surface or like a dull surface on it where it's harder to pick stuff up. Now, see, I, I picked that up on it. You know, and it does put a pretty glow on my skin. I do do like it, but um, that's kind of with some of their things. It It's almost like it, I don't know how you say it. It just like it, it um, gets a blase surface to it, so it doesn't pick as much product up. Okay, for my blush, this week I'm using my Tarina Tarantino palette, and you guys know I absolutely love Tarina Tarantino. And this is, I got this off of Holt Look, and this is the way it came. So this one here is empty because it was broken, but I wrote to them, I got this free. They sent me my money back. So I've still got three perfectly good blushes in here. So anyway, I'm going to use this. I'll use... Um, I used this one today. It's kind of a peachy um, blush. And then I'll use one of these two tomorrow and one of them on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'll just pick which one I like the best and use that one. All right. And that's it for my other stuff. And I am using two palettes for my eyes this week. One is going to be the Tartlet. Palette, and because it is matte, I am using the um, base and the transition color out of this one. So this is going to be my base, and I'll probably use it, mo well, I'll maybe go between these three this week. And then I used this darker one here, kind of kind of a purpley, mauve color <laughs> for my my transition transition this week okay and then for my lids I am using the essence all about bronze I didn't realize I was using two essence products this week that's kind of cool so anyway oh my god look at that isn't that absolutely beautiful and I you today I use this light um, tannish gold color up here and I will be using the darker colors this week. I probably will not use these two here for sure. So I have to choose three more out of this, this, this. Probably not that one. That one's too dark. And this and this. Probably, probably these three. <laughs> anyway, it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, that's why I'm using two palettes this week. One is shimmer and one is matte. All right, for my lipstick today, this is kind of a uh, just pull out and grab today. <laughs> um, I'm using the Kiko Milano Color Click Lipstick in 05. I hate it when they don't have names. They just couldn't. Uh, Anyway, I'm hoping you can see that. And then all you do is push on the end and it pops out. And this is the color. It's gorgeous. It is so pretty. And it goes on really nice and smooth and creamy. Just push it in. There you go. It, it's um, pink, as you can see. But it's a, it's a pretty pink. I like it a lot. And anyway, there is my eye look. You can tell that darker shade up there and then the, the light color towards the bottom there. And my cheeks. Anyway, see you tomorrow. I forgot to tell you what I was going to wear on my lashes this week. Um, since I won't talk about it again until Sunday, I thought I better do that. It is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I do like this. I love... Some people don't like the bigger ones. I do.
morning and welcome to day two of my Making It Work series. Today is Wednesday. So let's just get started at what's on my eyes for my base color today. I'm using the Tarte Tartlet palette and these are all mattes. And I'm using this for my this for my um, base color and today I used this lighter brown for my um, crease or transition color. The um, cream colored one is Free Spirit. The natural beauty is the one that I wore in my transition. Yesterday my transition was best friend. Okay, for my lids this week, I am using the Essence All About Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. And it's beautiful. You know, I do have glitter on my cheeks, you know. I just have not found a way around that. So today, anyway, I am using this second one here. This very pretty, very pretty. I'm hoping you can see that okay. okay. For my lipstick today, I am using the L'Oreal number 560 in Saucy Mauve. It's in the gold packaging, and it's gorgeous. I do not like the taste of it, though, and I do not like the smell of it. It smells industrial, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, I just don't like it. But, you know, um, it does go away. I'm tasting it now because I just put my lipstick on, and I have it on my tongue probably, but, but that is the color. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the, love this color. It goes on very creamy. We'll see how it lasts. The one yesterday did not last long. Yesterday was the Kiko Milano, and it did not last through my lunch. I had a very long day. I worked uh, 13 hours and 5 minutes yesterday. That's a long day, but it gives me my hours. I have 32 hours as it stands right now. It'll be 33 because of this extra hour. But And, you know, when I close up at 10 o'clock, then, um, you know, it takes me a while to count all the money because I have two tills. I have one for, for lottery or for uh, tickets from the machines, you know, from the video machines. And then I have one for booze and whatever. So... I have two tails I have to count. So that's kind of, but they came out right last night, only within a few cents off. So I was happy about that, my first time doing it. So um, I will talk to you uh, Saturday. Ah. <laughs> um, I, I forgot to tell you my blush because I'm not used to that, but I used this, this pink sparkly color today. Everybody. I hope you're enjoying the start to your weekend. This is Saturday and it's my day at the Longhorn Bar. And I think, believe tomorrow is the last day of our Corn Palace Festival. It's a big, where we have stars come like, um, oh, we've got this Happy Together Tour, which is like the Turtles, Gary Puckett, um, the guy and Paul Revere and the Raiders. Stuff like that. I would love to go to that, but all the seats were taken by the, or all the good seats were taken by the time that I, even later on in the day when I tried to get tickets. So I'm not going this year. Okay. Um, and then we have like a carnival. Um, all kinds of rides and vendors and all that kind of stuff. And my bar, the Longhorn is right on Main Street. So hopefully I'll be busy today and hopefully I'll make lots and lots of tips because I need them right now. <laughs> so anyway, let's get going. I have a hair. Let's get going to I wore foundation or kind of foundation today. First of all, I used my Lumi, my Magic Lumi. I love that stuff. And then I used a Tinted Moisturizer by e.l.f. Um, and it's a little bit orange, I think, for me. I don't know how it's coming out to you guys, but um, I've had this a long time. I've had this probably well over two years. So it's probably time to retire it. 
Um, what is the shelf life on this kind of stuff? Does anybody know? I should look that up because um, this is probably past its prime. I wish they would put dates on these. I really do. Um, like an expiration date or recommended expiration dates or something. But anyway, I thought I would try this since I'm not cooking um, anymore. I thought I'd try to start wearing some foundations if you know so I set my alarm five minutes earlier in the morning trying to get in here and do this so anyway that's what I'm wearing today put that away okay for my eyes um, I'm for my matte palette today I'm using the tartlet and I used this color here for my base today this one here for my transition okay and for my lid I have got a hair somewhere I used this one today. Whoops, this one today. Very pretty copper bronzy color. And that is my eye look. And for my blush, I wore, um, I told you last time that, that this one was sparkly. It's not. It's this one that's sparkly, and that's the one I'm wearing today. Blush. Okay, and for lipstick, I am wearing the du Duche Duque. How do you? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, Dukey. I I have no idea. I always thought it was like Duche. It's this here. If you can see that. Come on, camera. There you go. But anyway, it is in the color 907, another one that just numbers them. I hate that. And that is the color. It's gorgeous. It's a matte, and um, it's beautiful. It's very pretty. So we will see how long this lasts since it's a matte. And um, the foundation, back to the foundation, or the, the tinted moisturizer, I guess. It goes on very well, um, streaks a little bit with, you know, with my regular toothbrush type brush. Um, it emphasizes a couple of, I've got a couple of dry spots and emphasize those. So I am thinking, and, and like I said, it feels like it's getting a, a little bit orangey looking. And it's in the color porcelain, so it shouldn't be orangey at all. So let me know what, sh what your opinions are, you know, um, is it? past its prime it probably is so anyway i will talk to you tomorrow in my last day of making it work bye bye don't forget to enter my giveaway that went up uh friday night bye bye Hello everybody and this is connie sorry this is connie and it is my day four and last day of the week in my making it work series that means stay tuned until the end of the video and i will be doing my giveaway uh, announcing the winner and showing you what's up for giveaway for next week and giving you a question. Um, I forgot, totally forgot to do anything else in this video, so I'll just ask you a question. All right, so the first thing I use this week, um, by the way, every day that I have time on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday, I am going to for sure wear a primer and a foundation. Since I'm not cooking anymore, yesterday at the Long Branch or Longhorn, I used um, the Elf um, Tinted Moisturizer. I asked you a question on that. Please answer me. It didn't last me very well all during the day. Uh, it creased. A little bit and it wiped off really easy and I sweat because I work a little bit harder there I have to do all the stocking and all this stuff so I have to carry heavy boxes and so I sweat a little bit so I don't think I'm gonna start using my foundation on Saturdays there but when I work at this casino I will so today I wore my outlast and I'm probably going to use this until it's gone at, at least on this video on these three days of the week, I'm going to use this until it's gone. All right, so today I use the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and it is a 24-hour 
um, coverage it says and it is shell beige which actually I think looks fine I don't think it looked too dark on my skin like I thought it would um, I think it looks just fine and that's unusual for a beige so this is kind of a light beige I would think okay so that was today so for the rest of the week I used my makeup up brow by benefit or essence I'm sorry about that um, you know after using some of the better products I am not happy with this one um, I will continue to use it until it's gone and the color is okay it's not my favorite by far but it's okay but it's very it the the bristles are are very sharp and they kind of rub across your skin you know kind of kind of scratch across your skin and uh, it doesn't pick up a lot of a lot of product this is what the you know it is a tiny wand I expect it not to pick up you know tons and tons but a lot more than it does so I'm not real happy this will not be a repurchase for me okay so and then I used my um I don't know what I did with it oh Ulta eye primer as usual for let's see for my mascara I wore the Smashbox uh, full exposure mascara and this is a very nice mascara it's not my favorite but it is close Okay, and this is what it looks like nice big wand that I like okay for my highlight I'm just grabbing things I wore the physicians formula in translucent pearl and this is what it looks like um it's okay it's not my favorite but it's it's okay it's still something that I don't think that I probably would repurchase it but um, I will definitely use it so Okay, for my blushes this week, I used the Tarina Tarantino palette, the blush palette, and this is the Doll Skin Cheek Palette. And these are what it looks like, and I've told you the story about this already. But today I used this lighter peachy color. Um, I used all three this week, but today I chose to use this one again because it's just, it's pretty on my skin, I think. And with foundation, I'm not using quite as much blush because it, it actually shows up when you have foundation on. Imagine that. All right, for my um, eyeshadow this week, I'm using the Tartlet, by T Tartlet Palette by Tarte for my um, matte shades. Today, I used the pink. or It's got like a pink tint to it. Um, I used that as my base today. Then I used this as my um, transition, and then I, I covered it in just a little bit on the edges with this little bit darker brown. Okay, and my eyeshadow, and you know, I, I love this palette. I absolutely love this palette. The, um, the, it's pigmented, it doesn't kick up a ton of powder, it's a nice palette. I love this one. I'd love to get the one, the In Bloom one. Okay, so this is the All About Bronze palette by Essence. And I gotta say, I'm very happy with this product. Very happy. Uh, today I used this color here for my, for my, um, lid. <laughs> and, you know, some of these you have to go over a couple of times to get to build up what you want you know there's there's not a ton of a ton a ton of pigmentation and they do um, have some fallout I usually have to clean up my cheeks after I'm done but I still love the colors and I love the shimmer and and I would definitely get by this again all right for my lipstick today is um, it's a NYX matte and it's in natural and it's gorgeous it's a mauve nude I would call it beautiful my kind of color so, I love it this was the prize for this week it is a perfect pout lip color by wet n wild Fergie wet n wild and I don't know if there's even a color on here I just I can't found it, find it it says 
Perfect Pout Lip Color. That's all it is. And it's this color, and it's very pretty. It looks like something that I would like. So anyway, I used Random, Random Comment. I just put in um, YouTube Comment gem Generator in the Google search, and it came up with several. But I used, it's. I think it's called Random Comment Generator. So all I had to do was um, put in my YouTube the URL for last week's video and then it says pick comment or uh, choose a comment so I clicked on that and it chose a comment and I was so happy to see this name pop up I will um, insert a picture here. my good friend Valerie Hill's name came up she asked. The, she answered the right questions, and so I will be sending this to you, Val. Make sure that you IM me your mailing address, okay? I'm very happy you won. I'm just it's yours. So let's pick something for next week. And what I want you to do is what I'm going to do is ask you to subscribe to my Instagram. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. And then comment with your Instagram name, okay? That's all I'm going to have to do. The link is down below in the description box. So just um, join in on my Instagram if you already are. Still just put in your, to be qualified for this, you have to give me your Instagram name in the, com in the comments section. Okay, for next week, we are going to do an LA Colors um, eyeshadow palette. This is 12 eyeshadows. So let's do it like this. Show you those. Of course it's closed up so I'm not going to. And this is what it looks like. And there are purples and browns and rose colors and uh, light colors for transitions and very pretty, very pretty colors. So if you would like to win this, make sure you are um, subscribed to my Instagram or follow me on Instagram and leave me your Instagram name. All right. I will see you next week in Making It Work. Bye-bye. Have a good week.